It's another cold, miserable day outside in the middle of February, so I am in the boat shop. And, uh, yeah. I had an idea about trying to make some of my own wood blocks, and uh, after finding a, a very nice fellow on the internet, probably on a wooden boat forum or Facebook somewhere, Joel, um, he emailed me this uh, little instruction manual on how to make your own blocks and um, it's just very nice and uh, you can make double block single block and he's got all the sizes worked out in there uh, which is really good so I thought I'd try my hand at it um, one of the things you got to do is is um, is route out the the inside of the wood with a half inch uh, route sixteenth of an inch deep and I've got some some oak left over from the from the tree I cut down and uh, one of the things I learned is uh, do the routing and with bigger pieces uh, before you try to just have these cut to size and then try to run it on the router that sounds like a good way to uh, cut your finger really bad so anyway so I got several of those now I had my first one that I glued up and he said use tight bond 3 which I have and I did uh, except then I see once I got it nice and t glued up tight, I forgot to route out the, the pieces. So I suppose this one could be made into a rope stroked block. And I might do that just to have one. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so then I took another crack at it. Now I've got these little these little pulley wheels. And um, I can't remember where I bought these. I'm sure I bought them online. But he had a, <coughs> excuse me, a recommendation to uh, order some from Race Light. Uh, which actually I've just done, and I've got my first one pretty well, pretty well uh, built. Um, I found um, again this is oak out of the tree that I cut down here on the farm. I found uh, the the brass. I I found sixteenth inch by half inch brass strip just at my local hardware store, and um, and it fits in the in the area where it's routed out and then I just bend it over on my vise to get to get a bended piece and you can see it's not perfect but that should work and then you can see maybe you can see on the inside there where it's where the the brass goes through it's routed out on there so it's smooth on the inside and then um, comes all the way down there and I just took and sanded all that off now about the only other thing I got to do is um, drill my hole here you just figure out where the center of it is you want to make sure you're drilling through the center of the strap and you suggest putting a, a piece of block or something in the inside here when you go to drill it so you don't bend that but uh, with this one I, I epoxied it I used thickened epoxy to glue it up and I glued the the strap in there so it's already real tight it's, it won't come out of there um, but then when I put the the pin through uh, and, and then put the this one will work in here, this little little uh, little sheave. So uh, anyway, and this says even with the brass strap, um, that it, this should hold 330 pounds. So uh, anyway, just uh, thought I'd show you what I was doing today. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and look for us at Jenkins Boatworks on Facebook, too.